Meantime, French investigators today raided multiple locations, including the headquarters of the 2024 Paris Olympic Organizing Committee as part of a probe into alleged embezzlement of public funds. NBC's chief international correspondent, Keir Simmons, is following this story for us. And those accusations of vote buying and graft hung over Tokyo in 2021, Rio in 2016. But Keir, what's going on in Paris right now? That's right, Chris. And Paris 2024 is the first Olympics to have an anti-corruption policy. And yet it appears, and this is a bit of a bombshell, so we don't know exactly what's going on with these police raids. It appears there is the smell, if you like, of corruption surrounding the whole thing. Again, we did have allegations already from the French anti-corruption agency that there were risks, of, quote, of conflicts of interest. Brigitte Henriques, the president of the French National Olympic Committee, resigned last month after infighting that left that committee, frankly, uh, in uh, turmoil. And now we know about the opening of these two preliminary probes by the National Financial Prosecutor's Office. Hasn't previously been made clear. It's now being reported by a French newspaper looking into suspected embezzlement of, of public funds and after an audit by the French anti-corruption agency into suspected conflicts of interest there is questions of favoritism by Paris 2024 organizers and the, the firm uh, Solidio so, so what does this all mean well listen Chris you and I have been covering Olympics for long enough uh, to know there is always controversy and scandal before an Olympic Games and then the games get going and it's all uh, forgotten about there's still a year to go uh, but for President Macron it is going to be a worry because He's in his second term. He's not loved by the French people. And it's going to be looking to these Paris games, really, to, to lift his presidency as it comes towards its final years. So he will certainly be hoping, though you imagine not intervening, this is led by the French police, he will be hoping that this goes away in the next 12 months.